Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna talk about a comment that we recently received on our channel that says, "Is the swap memory a problem to us?" So this question tries to ask us, like, is there any issues and problems in using this swap memory in the MacBooks? Because usually we can see that even the MacBook Air with the eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, when we try to utilize, over-utilize the RAM, so it moves into a swap memory and that consumes a lot of space into the swap memory. So is it actually dangerous and problematic for our machines and will it cause any kind of a degradation to the SSD or the RAM? So let's talk about it. So guys, firstly, swap memory, what is swap memory? So let's try to understand this. So swap memory is in part of your SSD when you actually end up utilizing the complete amount of the storage that you have in your RAM. Like for example, you're having an eight gigabytes of RAM and when you have completely utilized that, so at that moment of time, your laptop or the machine automatically switches to the SSD that you have and uses that as in storage for execution of the task. So the less priority tasks are moved to the SSD and the higher priority tasks are kept into the RAM. So usually into the Macs, these are pretty efficient machines and they try to use the swap memory when we over utilize the RAM. So at that moment of time, swap memory comes actually into the role and sometimes it goes to a very higher limit like for example 8 gigabytes 10 gigabytes sometimes we even see such bigger numbers so does it actually affect the life of the ssd or is there any problem in using it see there's completely no issues in using the swap memory it's good to use the swap memory at certain times because that can actually relieve our ram from better execution and better performance but there's actually an issue that can be caused to the life of the SSD that we have in our machines. So it's not a problem in using the swap memory in our machines, but it actually degrades the life of the SSD. So if you talk about the SSDs now, so all the SSDs, no matter which SSD it is, all the SSDs have a limited life cycle for writes. So no matter if you're reading no for which number till what number you read the data from the SSD, there's no problem in that. But if you're writing data onto an SSD, it comes with a limited number of write cycles. That means you can write data onto an SSD only for a limited number of times. So most of the NAND SSDs come around with a 100,000 write cycle. That means you can write data for 100,000 times onto them. And as far as the MacBook Pros, the MacBooks that we have, so we don't have any specific number provided for the SSD, like for how many times we can write the data onto it. So absolutely, this is also an SSD. So it also even has a write cycle. And that is not, by the way, disclosed by what it is actually by Apple. So when we use the SSD as in swap memory, it tries to degrade the life of the SSD. So that is a major effect that we have on the SSD. And if you consider, by the way, inside the Mac, so Mac is a pretty efficient. It tries to utilize most of the cells equivalently so that the SSD life is maintained for a very longer period of time unlike the other SSDs because in SSDs we have got cells to write data onto them and Mac uses an algorithm to evenly distribute the write cycles on every cell of the SSD so that the life of the SSD stays for a more longer time. So guys this is an issue that you can see maybe into the future by using the swap memory a lot. And otherwise, it's not an issue while using the machine for performance and efficiency. It's good to use that. But as a part of an SSD life, so it actually degrades that. So guys, this is my complete perspective about this topic. And if you have any more questions and queries, please leave that into the comment section down below. We'll be happy to answer that. If you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.